Hi everyone, welcome again. In the last video, we covered the basics of service discovery, and in this video, we will start implementing the solution using Netflix Eureka. Before we start, a brief introduction of Netflix Eureka. So, Netflix Eureka is a service discovery solution which was developed at Netflix, and Netflix has been using the same solution for their microservices for the same problem. Later, they open sourced it, and now it's part of the Spring Cloud umbrella. And it is also known as Spring Cloud Netflix. It is well suited for microservices which are developed using Spring Cloud Stack and Netflix Eureka is ideal for cloud native environments. As for the documentation, you can see Spring Cloud Netflix is a sub project under Spring Cloud Umbrella and you can find all the related information here in this documentation. In this video, we will develop a service discovery, a Eureka server that will act as a registry and in the subsequent video, we will create Eureka clients. All right, so let's get started. The first step is to create the Spring Boot project. To do that, we'll go to Spring Initializer and I'm going to create the Maven project. We'll name it Eureka Server. We'll change the package name and group also. Then we need to add the dependencies. To develop the Eureka Server, we simply need one dependency, which is this one Eureka Server. And Let's generate the project. The project has been downloaded. Let's open this one with IntelliJ. This will now configure the project. It will scan pom.xml. It will download the required dependencies. And Spring Boot will configure the project automatically based on the classes that it would find on the class path. So let's give it a minute or two. So the project setup is now complete. Let's verify the pom.xml. And here we see a single dependency, which is Netflix Eureka server, which is coming from Spring Cloud. And if you go to the main class, application.properties, which is empty, and the main class, which is at the rate Spring Boot application annotated. All right. So in order to create a Netflix Eureka server, we need to add one annotation to the main class, which is enable eureka server and if we add this annotation spring boot will start this application as a netflix eureka server now as we know that the role of the discovery service is to act as a directory and the microservices or the instances of those services will register themselves with this service so when we start this eureka server we don't want it to register itself in the reflexive manner we don't want it to behave as a eureka client for that we need to disable the self registration and to do that, we need to add some properties in the application.properties file. So we'll go to the documentation here. This is the documentation for Eureka server. And in order to run the Eureka server in the standalone mode, we need to copy these properties. And notice we are setting register with Eureka false, which means we are disabling the self registration. So let's copy the properties and rename the application.properties file with application.yml. And we'll paste the properties. So the host name is localhost. Register with Eureka property is false. So we are saying just act as a Eureka server. Don't register yourself as a client. And the default zone, which is coming from the instance dot host name, which is localhost server dot port, which is eight seven six one, and Eureka. So this is the URL where we can find the running Eureka server. Before that, let me change the port as well. So we'll give it a random port eight zero one zero. And that's it. So we have configured the required properties and we have added the required annotation. Now let's run the application. So we can see that the service is up and running now. Discovery service is running on 8010 port and we see the message started Eureka server. So let's verify if we can see the Eureka server up and running on this port. To do that, we'll go to the browser and we'll say localhost. And this time 8010 because that's the port we configured in the application.yml file. Hit enter and we see this home page of Spring Eureka, which means the Eureka server is now running as a discovery server. Here you can see the basic details, environment, data center, current time, and some general information. And notice this section instance is currently registered with Eureka. We don't see any instances registered with this Eureka server because there are no other microservices running on our system. 
so we have just started the discovery service eureka server in the next video when we start eureka clients when we develop the eureka clients then we will see the services registered here in this section so that's all for now in this video we developed a netflix eureka server a discovery service and in the next video we'll start creating the eureka clients so stay tuned thanks for watching